A very direct apology today from San Jose police officers. Both the chief and union made separate statements responding to news we broke last night about an investigation into an officer accused of being intoxicated while on, while on duty. After our exclusive report last night, sources tell us an officer was put on administrative leave after responding to the kidnapping of three-month-old baby Brandon while allegedly intoxicated. NBC Bay Area's Damien Trujillo joins us now from San Jose City Hall. Damien, the city is now calling for more to be done to help officers struggling with addiction. Yeah, and there are two incidents now, uh, Garvin. Those two inc incidents led the mayor to propose that every police officer succumb to random drug and alcohol testing. Uh, and today it led to a very public apology to the residents that these officers are expected to protect and serve. I also apologize to the family of three-month-old Brandon Cuellar. We owe a, a huge apology to uh, the family of baby Brandon. The apologies came from San Jose's top cop and the union representing the rank and file. They're apologizing for an incident we uncovered exclusively last night. A San Jose police officer who responded to the search for baby Brandon after his kidnapping last Monday was intoxicated. Sources tell us a breathalyzer test registered a blood alcohol level of 0.139, nearly twice the legal limit. We have a very dangerous job. We go out uh, every single day, risk our lives. We're expected to make life and death decisions. We need to be at the top of our performance. The chief wasted no time in condemning the officer's alleged actions. I expect all officers to come to work ready to protect and serve. I cannot and will not let the actions of a few officers tear down what we have built. When an officer is found guilty of criminal conduct, I will personally walk him out. That officer is now on leave pending a criminal investigation. The incident and the fentanyl overdose death of Officer Dejon Packer in March led the mayor to propose random drug and alcohol testing for all officers today. Currently, testing is only mandatory for certain units. It's apparent that this needs to be made universal in the department. Doing so will enable the department to identify those officers who need help. The police union says it will consider the proposal at its next contract negotiation. We are empathetic to people that are struggling with different things such as substance abuse. The department says they'll expand the safeguards that are in place to provide help to officers who need it. But they also say they will aggressively go after those who don't seek that help and then put the community at risk. And I asked the police brass why it took an FBI agent and not fellow San Jose police officers to report the intoxicated officer. The brass said that is part of their internal investigation. We're live outside San Jose City Hall. I'm Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Damian.